The cameras are fixed to one man. Many think he's leaving the club, but he's in the starting lineup today. Stay with us on EA TV. And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester United up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the lineup for Manchester United. Stefan Savic starts alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here. But there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. An absorbing match in prospect. Manchester United get the ball rolling. Ben Rama. Well, it is without question a very special day. This his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, he's certainly got pace. He'll also be expected to get forward when he can, help provide those overlapping runs, and give his opposite number a real headache. It's a good bit of business, and I'm looking forward to seeing him play today. Nicely timed tackle. Well, far from the ideal pass. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Ben Rama. And running through to the keeper. Bruno Fernandes. Sancho now. Alex Tevez, and crossed in there, no-nonsense clearance, Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, and the keeper was up to the task. Dembele. Well, it might still work out for them. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here.
Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Just not looking confident in possession. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. A smart stop here. Savage now. Jaden Sancho. Difficult to stop him. Has eyes for goal. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Now sending it in. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, he's lost the ball. On and on he goes. Oh, a fine block. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Oh, he's gone for goal. Terrific save. Dembele. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And the pass could do damage. He might profit from here, you know. Oh, Derek, there's a chance here. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. On the ball, Lozano. Could play it in. Well, spot on with that challenge. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United facing... Oh, Derek, great opportunity here. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And it's level. 
level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Fairman. On the ball, Lozano. And West Ham in a position of menace. And he read it really well. Fine save. Substitution for West Ham United. And they're making a change. Number 22, Saeed Benrana. To be replaced by number 10, Manuel Ranzini. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, tremendous block. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will they profit from this situation? Dembele. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, sometimes they come off for you. Sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there. And as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, great vision. He's in position. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Well, here we can see it again. Incredibly close, but the correct decision. No goal. Over it comes. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. On and on he goes. It has to be. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider they get forward but time is very much against them here body on the line Lanzini time really is of the essence what can they do from this situation? And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Who can they pick out? Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages! Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Suchek trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Dembele, far from a good pass. Well, the United fans can sense a winner coming here, but can they create one more big chance? Jaden Sancho, and he's through here. 
In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. For Niles. Playing with purpose and control. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Happy to take on the shot. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. And there it is, the full-time whistle, a victory for Manchester United. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.
cameras trained on one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? Hello everyone, welcome to the King Power Stadium where the weather is absolutely perfect for football. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City versus Manchester United. Well thanks Derek, the best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Harvey Barnes and number 10, James Madison. Here's how Leicester City will line up. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance and two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Stefan Savic starts alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. It could be a fascinating head-to-head -head confrontation, this. And Leicester City get the proceedings underway. Paul Pogba and options in the centre Pogba this looks promising oh you don't want to lose the ball in that position and what a magical save it was And over comes the corner. Not messing around with that clearance. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Well, great read there to intercept. Must be! And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. And Leicester get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Leon Goretzka. Madison with it. Madison. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. A level contest, 1-1. One, one.
Fred. Sancho now. Savage. Here is Fred. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Space and time for the cross. Firing it towards goal. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Oh, big chance! Well, as the stats confirm, Leicester have had the lion's share of possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to... Can they keep it out? Well, they can keep possession now. Jadon Sancho. Bruno Fernandes has it. Pogba. And no luck keeping possession. Corner kick played in. Well, no end product. Cuts it back. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Genghis Under. James Madison. Oh, great play. Under. And a chance to level it. And Bagan foiling them. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here.
Well, as you can see, it came off him last, and as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And there it is, the half-time whistle. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Delivering it. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Bruno Fernandes. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Genghis Under. Stones. On to Genghis Under. Delightful pass. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Fred. Well, he could run onto it here. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, how about this? 4-3. Harvey Barnes. Well, they no longer have the ball. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. And a long way out here. And still a chance. Flag raised for offside. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, they fancy a short one. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Barnes Leon Goretzka Under No shortage of excitement Level again No wonder they're excited Well here you can see it again Good run, great strength And a composed finish under pressure That's a top class goal And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Jaden Sancho. Gnabry with it. Jaden Sancho. And it might be. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left. Surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here.
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Aspili Quetta. Goretzka. Genghis Under. Madison. Vardy. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, for neutrals, this is a joy. 5-5. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Fred. Has a go. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Manchester United know they've got to be precise with the corner given the circumstances. Mastery of the passing game. So the final whistle, it was an eagerly anticipated contest and in the end a keenly fought one. The sides couldn't be separated. The Manchester United angle and all of this, what do you think? Well, Derek, it will feel like a defeat in that dressing room. They had the game won and were in control, but they just couldn't see it out. That's a real blow to them. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It's Manchester United. They face Monaco, and it's live on EA TV. And it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Monaco 
versus Manchester United. Well, what a first leg we have in store for us here. Yes, it might be cagey, but these are two excellent teams with great individuals. This will be a high-quality game, Derek. This is the team Monaco have selected. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a diamond in midfield, which allows them to dominate the central area, but does leave them exposed out wide. The lineup for Manchester United. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Now Paul Pogba. And here's Martins. Could be. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Plenty of interest from fans and pundits alike in Nemanja Matic coming into this match. There are many who believe that this will be his final campaign, that he's on the verge of retiring, Stuart. Well, it's a shame if the stories are true, because he still has so much to offer. But his body must be telling him it's had enough. Let's hope he has a great end to his career. And he takes it on. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Suchek. Chance to do damage. And options in the centre. Can't miss, surely. Still could be dangerous. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, they're playing well now, and these fans can sense a goal coming. Ollie Watkins. Myron Boadu. And foiled only by the crossbar.
Marcus Rashford going well can't miss surely and there it is the goal they wanted for security they lead by two now they can breathe that bit more easily Second goal for them here. Rashford. And return to Rashford. Fred. Now Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. So the action underway once more, and it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. Ollie Watkins. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie. Ben Asser. Here's Jean-Saul Martins. Boadou. It's there for him. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the action continues and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and the finish is clinical. Hitting it cleanly beyond the keeper, that's a good goal. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Gelson Martins. Suchek. Crossing possibilities. Has a go. Well, it's astonishing. A very unlikely comeback, but now they are level, having trailed by three. Yeah. 
Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then it's a pretty tidy finish too. Hits it hard, he hits it low, and it just makes it difficult for the keeper. A really nice goal. Underway once more, level at 3-3. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, can they make one of these passes count? But just like that, possession changes hands. Myron Boadu. Oh, left his man behind here. Won it back. Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Action underway once more. Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game. attack continues they're making considerable progress and let's give credit to the defending Alex Tellez has it Sancho now and return to Sancho Sancho teammate in support this could be the equalizer and it is the equalizer well now that could be a huge turning point in this game they carry the momentum There were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Must take the lead here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Chances on. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Full time then, and it's advantage Manchester United after this first leg. Well, what an open match. The build-up play was really good, as was their positional rotation. But if they defend as poorly in the second leg, I wouldn't fancy their chances of going through to the next round.